Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about unique key constraints in the SQL Server. So unique key constraint is the one which will help us to ensure all the values in a particular column is unique or all the values in a particular column is different. It does not allow duplicate values in a single column. The second point is one, sing one table can contain multiple unique key constraints. One table can contain multiple unique key constraints. So before going to show you the practical demo, so let me show you how to differentiate between primary key and the unique key. So if you go to that, so as I told you, so once you set a primary, once you set a unique key on a single column, so it does not allow duplicate values. Does not allow duplicate values. Next, so it does not allow duplicate values. Second point is a single table can contain multiple unique keys. Multiple unique keys. Next, third point. So as I told you, it is only unique key, but unique key is going to allow one null at least. It is going to allow one null. It allows one null. Okay. And second null, it does not allow. I will show you practically. Next, when you come to the primary key, so as if you see my previous video, primary key is nothing but a collection or a combination of not null plus unique. It means that it is going to satisfy the not null behavior as well as unique behavior. Now, let me see. So it does not allow duplicate values. It does not allow duplicate values. That's correct. And single table can contain only one primary key. So only one primary key for primary key for table. It does not allow multiple keys like unique next the third point so it does not allow nulls even hello even a single null because it is a combination of not null plus unique that is the reason why it does not allow so if you see the differences between primary key and unique key this is the most uh, important uh, interview question so what is the difference between unique and primary key so unique key is not going to allow duplicate values. Similarly, it, uh, primary key is also does not allow duplicate values. And single table can contain multiple unique keys. But here, so single table is going to contain only one primary key. It means that only one primary key per table. One primary key per table. Next, unique key is going to allow at least one null. It allows one null. But here, it does not allow even a single null because of the combination of not null plus unique. So these are all the differences between unique key and primary key. Now let me show you how to work with a unique key practically in SSMS. So there are two ways of setting the unique keys. So one way is using SSMS designer. Designer. Second one is so using queries. So as a SQL developer, the best practice is queries only as a SQL developer. So best practice is best practice is using queries only. But in this video, I am going to show you both the ways how to create a unique key by using SSMS designer as well as by using queries. So let's go to the SQL Server Management Studio. So in this studio, so I'm going to create a one table with the name of employee. So if you see this, I have a table with the name of employee which contains ID employee, employee name and email. So by default, all are uh, nullable and uh, there are no constraints is different as of now, as of now. So let me create a table. So I'm going to execute this. It means that table has been created with the name of employee. So if I run the insert queries on this table, if I run whatever the query I want, it will run because as of now, nothing is been, uh, none of the constraints are there in a particular table. First, I'm going to so create a unique key constraint by using SSMS designer, SQL Server Management Designer. How to do that? 
so let's go to the um, object explorer let's refresh that so you will get your table name so here this is my employee how to go to the designer let's right click on the table name and click on design so once you click on design so you will get this window here if you see id employee employee name and email then how to create a unique key on this designer so let's right click let's select the any of the column right click because even like why i am telling any of the column because at, at later you can change the column name if you click if you right click on a different column so right click on any of the column and if you see here so there is indexes are keys so with this window you can create index as well and you can create a unique key as well so let's select that option so once you select that option so you will get a index or primary keys window like this so as of now so no indexes and no primary or no keys has been defined here now let's click on add so once you click on add so you will get with the name of ix underscore employee because by default you will get with a index so we need to change that now first on what column do you want to create a unique column so here in this example i want to create a unique key constraint on the email on the email because all employees should have a unique email ids now let's select the employee email here you need to have a employee email so you will talk about sort order later now select the email let's click on ok now do you want to maintain is unique yes so by default is no let's make it as yes and so what is the type do you want to go with index or a unique key let's select the unique key you don't need a index for maintaining the unique values if you see here so i selected an email and use unique keys yes and unique key and what would be the name of the unique this is the name of the unique key the like i'll give you the like a user means like a system defined or like a naming convention is uq we used to give uq and the table name table name is employee underscore column name we used to give column name is this email so this is how we give the naming conventions to the unique key constraints uq is nothing but a unique key employee is nothing but a table name and email is nothing but a column on this column name we will be creating okay so once you are done with this if you want to add description you can add it otherwise leave it out so that is not a mandatory field so let's click on close okay let's click on save it means that unique key has been created on the top of the employee table on the top of the email column now let me test this okay let me run the insert on this employee table so insert insert into employee employee values first one is id so 101 comma i'm going to keep name as gary comma email as gary at the rate gmail.com if you see this i'm going to insert a particular row with a gary uh, employee id is 101 name is gary and employee uh, email id is gary at the rate gmail.com let me insert this this one row has been inserted now so let me try to insert one more row insert into employee values of 101 comma i am going to put as gary glimpse gary glimpse comma but my email id is same i am keeping gary the rate gmail.com See, I am trying to put because of the names. Like, see here, this is employee name is Gary. Yeah, the guy, this employee name is Gary Glimpse. But by default, like uh, I want to, I can keep like as a uh, full name is employee name is Gary Glimpse. He is a he can keep the employee name employee email as Gary at the gmail dot com. So if I run this uh, insert query, ideally because of the e unique key constraint on the email, it should fail. Let me run this. So once you run this, you can see the error message here. Once you run this. You can see the error message. So violation of unique key constraints with the name of the unique key cannot insert duplicate key in the object dbo dot employee. So this is how my unique key constraint is going to work. It does not allow duplicate values in the table. If you see here, the duplicate key value is Gary at the rate gmail dot com. So that uh, statement has been terminated. So now let me. This is how we create a unique key constraints on the top of the tables by using ssms designers now let me go for a query method so now let me go for a query method so if you see the query method so i'll write a query here so how i'll write is because of this table is already have a unique key constraint let me create a one more table with the name of employee one okay so nothing to worry let me create this 
means my employee table one is created employee one table is created now let me create a unique key constraint on the top of the this employee one table so how to create so first i need to alter it i need to write an alter statement alter table employee one employee one what i am trying to do i am trying to add a constraint to the employee one table add constraint i need to put constraint and constraint name what is the name uq the naming convention is uq underscore table name table name is employee one employee one underscore column name email so what is a constraint unique unique on what column i'm going to create as email column so this is how we add a constraint to the existing table by using queries so now let me run this so once i run this it means that unique constraint has been created on the top of the employee one table on the email column now let me try to insert some data into the employee one table now same query insert into employee one values values like 101 comma same values i'll use for easy understanding gary comma gary at the rate at the rate gmail.com okay so now let me run this if i run this it will work it will insert into for the first record now let me try to insert the second record into employee one values of 102 the other values are all different gary gary glimpse comma let me put it as gary at the rate gmail.com okay so let me try to insert this record so this is going to be fail because so violation of unique key constraints and with a particular name you can see the unique key name as well this is the constraint name as well okay cannot insert duplicate uh, key in the object the employee one the duplicate key values gary at the rate gmail.com now let me try to put hotmail.com so if you really think about this see this is a gary at gmail.com and this is a gary at the rate hotmail.com obviously yes it it inserts because it is not getting matched if you see this so gary at the rate hotmail.com is different than with a gary at the rate gmail.com so if it is different then it automatically works if you try to insert the same value again it fails with them error message saying that you are trying to insert a duplicate value into the same table okay so now let me see the data in the employee one table so let me run the select query select star from employee one if you see this let me run this yeah you can see the data now so i i wrote a complete uh, select statement rather than writing like that let me run let me see the data okay so i have a shortcut key so let if i see the run this let let me see if you see this my uh, data is getting refreshed because i configured a shortcut keys in my system so then how to configure a shortcut keys in the sql server so you have a video i i already did a video how to configure a shortcut keys in the sql server I will show you what are all the shortcut keys which are defined in my machine. If you go to the tools, go to options. In the options, there is a keyboard. Expand this query shortcuts. So these are all the list of shortcuts is defined by me in my machine. You can also configure on your own. Okay. See, control six is nothing but a count of records. Let me run the control six. Yeah. If you see how many records are there. Two. this is how we can configure it so there is a separate video in my uh, channel how to configure a shortcut keys in the sql server please uh, go for uh, watch that video to configure a customized uh, shortcut keys in your video so yeah now in this video we completely talked about unique key and the difference between unique and the primary keys so thank you for watching if you have any questions please comment those questions in the comment section so i will answer it thank you that's it